Sandhu Paul. I'm a freelance character artist. Uh, currently, I'm working as a freelance character artist. So uh, today, what we are going to talk about, like uh, there is a free head uh, model which was been uploaded on 3D Scan Store a few days back by uh, James Busby, and uh, it's a, it's a really really amazing uh, package, a free head scan. And uh, you can find out like uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, pretty high resolution textures, maps, uh, the OBJ files, the MPX files, and even also the Marmoset files, say, everything, uh, and even also the GBrush tools. Uh, so these are the things that have been uploaded along with this project. And I would like to talk about the uh, process that I did to convert it to uh, uh, the texturing thing into my model. So this is a, a character of uh, William Defoy, uh, the head sculpt that I did it like a couple of months back. And I thought that I should uh, uh, try to texture this one uh, with this free, free uh, 3D head scan. Uh, so if you go to my art station, you can find out a couple of uh, screenshots that I have put it over there. And it's pretty amazing. The details are really, really nice, and uh, uh, it's a high detailed model. So here was my 3D model, which I did it uh, in GBrush and rendered it in my Keyshot, and uh, then I converted into this the final shot. And these screenshots are being taken from Manusi tool back. Uh, so uh, let's talk about that. And let's dig it, dig into the process. Let's go. We have uh, imported the ZTL file. So let me show you the folder structure. What we can, what we'll get it after downloading those package. So once you download the package, there will be two zip file. One is like free plus eight and the TJ plus textures. So once you unzip that two files, you'll find this FBX folder. Uh, the JPG uh, textures folder, Mamos has seen the OBJ, uh, the TGA textures, and the ZTA file. So the Maya and this ZBrush, I created this folder, so that is, this is there inside that folder. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six folders, you will get it over there. So if you go to FBX file, you will find two folders. One is head and another one is the jacket. So head is... Uh, the head folder you will find more six sub tools so which you can uh, import it in Marmoset tool toolbag and then you can check it out so let's start the Marmoset file so here is the Marmoset file right now uh, we can see it uh, just once again yeah just we can see it uh, you can see the file is really high definition the, the mesh the textures are really high definition and as i mentioned earlier that all the textures are almost 8k to 16k textures uh, with a lot of details and the textures and everything so this is the file which will come along with the package and uh, this is the mesh that i converted uh, and applied that material into it okay so let's start with the process so what i did is like uh, i went to okay so i launched my gibberish file and uh, i imported the Z, Z, ztl file which is uh, which came along with this uh, package uh, this one ztl file which will have like head ztl tool uh, you can import it here in GBrush. Uh, one more thing, the ZTL file is really, really uh, heavy file. It's almost 83 uh, million points, uh, which is really high. So a lot of details and everything. Um, necessary project file progress. Will be saved. Uh, okay, so I think it's done. So let's check it out. So you can see it's almost 83 million total points and the active sub, active sub tool has like 50 million points. So what you have to do, the first thing is that uh, you, because it has a certain kind of uh, UV set. So let me go to its lowest subdivision that I can, so that I can show you its 
uh, UV map you come over here and then you can mod UV so this is your UV map you can see right so what I have to do is that I have to uh, keep this UV same because the textures are done based on this UV so what I'll do is that I'll take this mesh which is this one which is the low poly base mesh and uh, I appended it in my actual file so here you can see this is my actual file okay let me show you this is my actual file uh, which I sculpted right so I append the head sub, sub tool over here uh, it may possible that the this sub tool size uh, may be different than your sculpt or maybe uh, your scan data so there is nothing worry about that you can directly do the deformation and then you click unify so it unifies accordingly sorry it's wrong so I'll go over here and then I'll click on the unify and it will resize as close as possible and then afterward what you can do is that you can more resize it with here and click on repeat to active and you don't need to be very precise with that you just have to be close enough with the scaling with your source and this uh, mesh and if you want you can resize more okay so uh, let's begin with that uh, one more thing that i uh, did it here is like my character has open eyes so what i did is like i i went to its uh, layer and then i just made another version which has like closed eye so it can be matched better with this head and once it's done then i launched z wrap so z wrap i've already made another uh, tutorial on z wrap and it is available on my youtube channel uh, what i'll do is that i'll uh, put that link in the bio at as, as well uh, sometimes z wrap takes time a little bit time like 30 to 40 seconds to launch uh, based on the total dry count of your uh, scan model or your base model so once it's done uh, you can see we can see that the two the source and the uh, and the base mesh uh, are visible on the two windows okay so if you click on the sync views uh, the zooming the rotation everything will do at the same time now what I did is like once it's done the next process is to start putting the points so I started putting the points here like one two three four five and the same thing like one two three four five so already I have done it earlier so I have saved those points I just load it because so this is the best point now it's loaded and the same thing I have done with the source point as well so I have both model uh, ready with the points to, to, to uh, start with the wrapping so if you click on the wrap and then you can click on the max scale and the rigid alignment so it will align perfectly suppose both of the mesh has a different scale so if you click on this max scale and the rigid alignment it will try to align as close as possible for the uh, wrapping process so once it's done then you click on the start wrap and then it will start wrapping uh, and we get the process a little bit uh, the z wrapping is done this is our final model right now and we can uh, check its uh, uv map over here like if you click on the uv it has the same uv map right now so that we can uh, use the same uh, textures and the material on top of that so once it's done uh, it's time to export the mesh 
uh, we can export the mesh we have the same polygroup everything is same uh, we will export it from here and uh, once i click that so i have already exported that vdm uh, head 2 so this one the file and also uh, maybe if you want to match the eyelash uh, so what you can do is that you can uh, go here uh, this one and then based on your base mesh over there this is the source file what we uh, the ztl file which came with the project uh, you can select all those eyebrows and then adjust it with move tool uh, move tool and push it pull it according to your final mesh so this is my final mesh and based on that i have just uh, adjusted those things and all of this uh, sub tools i have exported uh, here okay and let's get back to mama's tool back so there is a Malmose tool bag. I have imported the William file here and then again applied all the existing materials because those are already ready and it looks awesome. Okay, so one more thing that just I want to mention here, maybe uh, in your uh, scan data or scan file uh, you may have uh, some of the very prominent uh, deformation on the screen or a skin or maybe in the face so in this case I have uh, this wrinkles uh, very prominent wrinkles right so I wanted to uh, blend this wrinkle into the existing texture so this is the existing texture which comes with uh, uh, this project uh, and what I did is that I separately uh, picked my another normal map which is this one which is all those wrinkles and then on top of that uh, I put it um, a black mask and then started painting all those things so you can see the difference between that. So this is my final normal map and I exported that over there and this is my old material and this is my new material. So once I apply over there you can see the difference. Right? So it has all those important and landmarks of the, of the face. Okay? So this was my previous once again and this is my new material. So once I'm happy with that, uh, I just duplicated this light and put it over here and played with the value a little bit. And uh, this is my final output and it looks really nice. That's it. So this is the tutorial I, I wanted to uh, uh, talk about and I hope this uh, the whole process and the video will be helpful to some of you and uh, we want to see that most more uh, this kind of experiments from you and uh, please do share uh, your process. Um, happy brushing, happy art. Thank you so much. My name is Nimalandi Paul and if you like the uh, uh, tutorial please do subscribe and put a comment over there maybe you can give a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you want to see in the next video thank you so much